Like only, only it'll be a year in August. So I mean, only a couple months Sorry. away. Yeah, we're just a couple months away. Uh, where do you get your boards? I get them all over. I got like a bunch of homies that uh, save them for me. Um, in terms of like uh, larger amounts, I go to like skate parks. I got a couple of uh, friends that run and operate them. Uh, they save them for me. Uh, skate shops, they don't generally get them as much, but you know, they might hold on to like three or four and you know, you go in and collect them. And, yeah, I, I get a lot of high school kids that just come over and you know, I'll, I'll give them a pin or make them something, you know, and they'll hook me up with them. And I also have a mini ramp here in my garage, so. piece of art for my wall for my living room and uh, I got a lot of good feedback from friends and family and people just in general that come over and seen it and uh, uh, I think for one one day my old lady was just joking around she was like oh you know maybe we should put it on you know like one of these websites and try to sell it and I was just like you know if you want to try that's fine you know but like you know, do whatever you want to do and I think she did it she put it on there for like 350 bucks and I, it sold in a week you know and it's like wow you know, I, I, you know, I could probably do something with this. So, I think that's what kind of started it all. You know, in, in terms of like cutting up the boards and, and being part of this whole, this whole scene. You know, I, I love it. It's my hobby, and whether I make money at it or not, I think I'll always do it. So. close friend of mine that you know is loves graffiti that's what he does you know and uh, he did my logo up for me you know? and uh, yeah I thank him for that Favorite things to make, um, watches. Love making a watch. Like there's something about making a timepiece like that is just so gratifying. You know, and, and especially in terms of like making it, like like the making it in the process is fun. Yeah, I got one on. Like the process of making one is fun, and 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 like the process of like showing the world it is even funner because like people freak. You know, no one's no one's done it yet, and you know I think. To me, you know, that's such a good feeling in terms of like, you figure how many people are on this earth, like six billion people, and no one's managed to put, you know, skateboard wood behind glass, like freeze it in time, so to speak, no pun intended.
but yeah, I mean, there's lots of stuff like that that I think about, and it makes you know, just makes me think like there's lots of shit still that hasn't been done, you know. So as far as like favorite pieces, yeah, it'd be a watch, like you know, and until the watch gets old, which you know, only time will tell. No pun intended. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Until the next th big thing comes around, uh, it's the watch right now. So I like that. Uh, right now, I got uh, some iPhone cases. And this stuff holds weight in terms of like visually, you know, like that's why I think you get so much hype is because it's so visually stunning. It's like you can't help but look at it and want to know what it is, you know what I mean? And it, and it looks crazy. Uh, I'm Justin Gibson and I'm uh, Johnny's cousin. What do you think about his new endeavor of skateboards? I actually think it's pretty cool. I like the way that he utilizes the recycled boards and everything else and turns it into pieces of art and really cool works and, and earrings and stuff like that. I think it's really neat. I do. I own a, a watch, a ring. Um, I have a heart pendant that he made for me. Um, <clears throat> I've had a couple keychains and I have a cell phone case actually from him. Right I think he'll be able to make it and uh, do a really good job at it too. He's got a lot of skill, especially when it comes to wood, and he's been working with wood his entire life, so when it comes down to it, he can pretty much shape and mold it the way he wants. So I think it'll be good for him. I think he'll do really well, and I only wish him nothing but more success. If you didn't know it was skateboards, and I was like, oh yeah, look at this one, look at this one, look at this one. you'd be like, shit, what do you, what do you, do you paint that on there? And I was like, no, it's stained. You'd be like, would you stain each layer and then stack them? Like, what, how long does that take? You know, but it's not the case, right? So, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with just like, you know, like, it's kind of like cheating in terms of like, you know, like making something, like you, you make it and it's like, of course it's going to look good, it's a great looking median, you know, I feel like, so, 
Yeah. Absolutely, for sure. You know, I mean, not that I don't like working for my dad. I just, I don't, I don't like working for my dad. <laughs> uh, nobody likes working for their dad. They're, it's harder, man. They're hard on you. Yeah, they are. But, All right. Yeah. Know, like this little guy I got this guy in my head I, there's no paper sketch of him I'm just like trying to you know get it out of here into here you know and skateboarding's like that it's like a canvas you know it's a rolling canvas mm -hmm. 